a bit boom. Welcome back, mother clockers, to another episode of Wasman the Madman's Crafty Bastard Beer Reviews. Tonight, coming in with another Northern Monk. I've been doing a lot of these lately that I picked up. Uh, picked up a few from Morrison's. And there's, there's, a, there's a few there now that are in the £4 range. And this is one of them. It's trans, transient, hazy. Oh, I'll try and get it to focus. Here we go. Transient. Hazy Double Dry Hops IPA at 7% ABV. Excuse me. So, yeah. £4 a can. I'm not going to go into any detail. There are no details as such. Just a bit of stuff on the back. Uh, it's got your usual, well, these days, your usual oats, wheat. Uh, as well as your... Malted barley and yeast and blah blah blah. Anyway, let's open this can and see what we're dealing with. Oh, lovely squirt there. <laughs> oh, okay. Immediate aroma for me then was actually a bit of barley and a bit of like a, a wheaty nut. Tiny bit of. Orange notes, I would say, but not much aroma. Let's put it in and see what it looks like. Hazy Double Dry Hopped IPA. So let's hope this is a hoppy little bastard. Um, lovely looking colour. Nice and juicy, as I'd expect. Nice... Silky two finger white head, lovely jubbly. Not much aroma, I'm getting some wheatiness coming through on this, and that's about it. Anyway, it was man going in. Mm. Crafty bastard for sure, definitely. It's nice. Initial impressions are it's got this lovely um nice body to the to the beer. It's got very little carbonation. There is a bit of um zing on the back of the throat. But it's lightly carbonated, juicy, and silky. Has a silky mouthfeel from the oats and the wheat. Oh, excuse me. It's going for the aroma. Uh, the the taste. What am I getting? Not just the mouthfeel. The taste is what I meant to say. Okay, so for a double dry hopped IPA, it's not as much of a juice bomb as I'd expect. Not for four pound a can anyway. Uh, they've obviously chucked the hops in, uh, dry hopped them, but for how long and how much, I, I don't know. I'm not getting any... Tropical notes as such. I'm getting more. I'm getting orange. Getting a bit of lime, a little bit of citrusy notes, but nothing. It is a little bit sweet, but it's it's not as punchy as I'd expect for four pound a can, uh, which is quite a lot of money, especially in the supermarket world. So, I mean, it's good. It's got. They've definitely nailed the uh, the body on the beer. 
I suppose perhaps they haven't used they could have used punchier a punchier hop variety I'm guessing they, they, they just use what they have in stock rather than that actually think about delivering something that was going to be really punchy for starters. H hoppy, bitter, but really, really dank and juicy. Uh, so I don't know. It may just be the, the, the brewing process. It's a good beer, but it hasn't wowed me. It's a crafty bastard, definitely. It's lovely. I mean, it should be for that price. But it's not. It's not what it should be for four pound a can. It's meant to smack you in the face and go, look, pineapple, grapefruit, mango, bitter, thick mouthfeel, zesty, zingy, fresh, juicy. It's not a beast, and um, it's disappointed me. I've had some crackers lately. I don't know if you've seen one of the last videos where I poured it in and it literally looked like Sunny D. It was so incredibly juicy and it was the best supermarket. I think it was an IPA. Might have been a double dry hop IPA. I can't remember, but it, fuck, it was amazing. Um, If I can find whatever that video was or that beer was i'll drop a link in the description if i can find it before i upload this but oh my god there will be some crackers lately that they're really there are some really amazing beers at the moment and the problem is they've raised the stakes in so many different ways so then you've got a five pound can of beer you've got a four pound range you've got three pound fifty three pound and now even two pound or 245 or whatever they are 230 excuse me there is just so much to choose from but in the eyes of the average consumer such as myself i would expect a four pound can of a double dry hop ipa to seriously get me talking i'm gonna drink this I'm going to enjoy it, but there's a lot of... I won't talk about it again. I'll drink it, I'll enjoy it, and that's about it. It hasn't wowed me. I'm not going to go to my friends and go, Oh my God, I have this amazing beer, you need to try it. No, and that's a shame, because that's what it should be at this price point. It's good, but it's definitely not good enough for £4 a can. I'm going to wrap this up now. Nice grapefruit notes, zesty, bitter backbone, but not as bitter as, as, as I was expecting, and just not as juicy, or oh, it doesn't have the wow factor, and I'm gutted, there's been some incredible ones lately, four pound a can, I was hoping this was really going to, you know, tickle my fancy, it's good, but I won't pay four pound for that again. I'd happily pay £2.50 or £3 for that. That's as far as it goes. Um, that being said, good beer. But I have to go by the overall experience. And that is a disappointing one. Simply because the anticipation was there. I spent £4 on it and I thought I was building myself up for this great beer. Which... It is a great beer, but just simply, it doesn't have the wow factor, which it should do for that price. Wasman's going to rate this transient, double dry hop IPA by Northern Wink. Simply because of the price, a 6 out of 10. There it is. Go out and try it if you fancy... Well, if you've listened to what I said and want to have your own opinion, or if you have tried it, comment down below, let me know. 
it's just one of these things that there's so much to choose from that there are so many different price points it's a confusing marketplace at the moment and unless you're in the know then you're gonna end up spending a lot of money when you don't really need to that's what i'm here for you can either agree with me or disagree but i will review these beers and you can decide whether you want to go out and try them boom simple as that hope you enjoyed um and that's about it have a good evening mother clickers and uh, like share subscribe boom 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 night 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 night